Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Sports TV. I'm your host Trey Martin and today I'm doing a little video about uh, a Yankees pitcher, Jamani's whatever, whatever his name is, don't matter, and then a Mets pitcher, Scherzer. Both of them New York teams and one team getting a little bit more privileged than the other. This seems like another instance of this seems like another instance of the MLB, the commissioner of the umpires favoring the Yankees over other teams. Which we know they're known to do based on the cheating scandal with the Astros. And if you actually look at the umpire scorecards, even from last season, the Yankees were the second most favorite team, with the Diamondbacks being number one. And then there's also the juice balls that the Yankees players were getting because of Judge and all that. Well, the golden balls and everything else. It's just the Yankees are just one of the more one of the more favorite teams. Yankees, Dodgers, Red Sox, they're because they're one of the big market teams. Mets are another big market team, so you would think they get some favor too, but they're the little stepchild of the Yankees, so they don't get get as much favor. And I was thinking that this was a very easy one to one uh, scenario based on what I've heard at the beginning but as it turns out it's not really that simple now we know all know what happened with the Yankees pitcher his hands were too sticky uh, they, he was told to wash his hands he went to the dugout wash his hands came out they checked him the very next inning his hands were still sticky to tell them to wash his hands again, like these are two extended uh, checks. And after he was told to wash his hands again, the uh, one of the players on the other team was kind of just upset because they're like, if you found so dumb, why isn't he being ejected from the game? And then he got ejected because of that, which again, right then and there, that is one already uncalled for. So that is just. Two, uh, that's just one instance of the Yankees being favored right there. Pretty cut and dry. The Yankees were given two chances. Well, they were given three chances, really, to fix a mistake. And another player, seeing that they have, like, multiple chances, kind of got upset. Like, why is he still in the game if you had to stop him twice? Which, again, is pretty understandable. And then you look at the Yankees one, and then he gets ejected for having to stick his stuff in his hand. And you're sitting thinking, okay, well... Yeah, that seems pretty cut and dry. Not as simple, because uh, Scherzer was not ejected right then and there either. He was given a chance, he was told to change his glove and wash his hands, which he did, and then he came back, and there was still Rosen, his hand was still sticky to him. And because of that, they were telling him again, and he was animated and upset and it was he was clearly he was he was very clearly upset and animated about it he saw him raise his hand kind of looked like he was raising his voice a bit at the umpires maybe not super yelling but clearly he had his voice raised agitated very emotional uh or no and all that and that's when he got ejected so he was given another chance and he wasn't ejected until he was showing some emotion and all that. So it was not like a clear one-to-one -one scenario and I'm saying thinking okay I, and I want to be fair about this. If we're gonna go after the Yankees we got to do it in a fair manner because there are clear instances on when, when they are favored. So we got to do it in a fair manner. But the, like I said this was just not an obvious one to one right away. And if it ended there, then I probably would not be making this video. But then Scherzer got suspended for 10 games. So for this sticky substance, they're trying to clean clear they're trying to clean was 100 percent out Rosen and Max Scherzer's over here going Is this Rosen? And then the team dumps are like well, this is too sticky to be Rosen. But there was literally a video of um, 
Trevor Bauer, can't believe I'm saying anything good about him right now, just using Rosen and Sweat to make a ball so sticky that he was just doing this and the ball was sticking. No, no. Pretty, pretty cut and dry. Probably could have been just Rosen. And it just, again, that makes it even more fishy about the whole being evenly fair about it. Because, again, they gave the other, the Yankees, multiple chances. And, again, they haven't suspended him. They haven't suspended him at all. So it's just, it's just seemed very, very fishy. It's, it's not a clear one-to-one, -one, clear, like this is clearly favoring the Yankees right now. Because again, they did give Max Scherzer a uh, at least one chance, uh, at least a second chance. So it really is not a clear one-to-one -one as much as other people like. And like I said, if I want to attack the Yankees, I want to do it in a more fair manner, an actual real uh, on actual facts like the Yankees cheating from 2015 through 2017 uh, the uh, using the same system the Astros did the system coming from the Astros the Yankees using sticky stuff to cheat the Yankees uh, crying about uh, all, all the other Yankee standard attacks I'd like to do it in a fair manner so if and I am not a huge Yankees fan so I'm not just here to defend the Yankees but again, like I said, it is it's a little suspicious, but it's not enough for me to go 100% call on it. And it's just, it's, why was he suspended 10 games? They're saying it's because the umpires had it for multiple innings at the thing. Did they watch, did they wash their hands afterwards? No. Yeah, it's, it's just seems, it just seems like an odd situation. And I remember someone saying, well, if it's Rosen, you're not allowed to have... I remember the guy saying, you're not allowed to have too much Rosen. There's a video going to Max Scherzer saying, you're not allowed to have so much Rosen that it darkens the ball or damages it. And it doesn't matter which hand it's on. Because, again, it wasn't even on his pitching hand. It was on his glove hand. And, well, once again, like, was it really too much to damage or discolor the ball? Because they didn't notice anything on the ball. Their reasoning had nothing to do with the ball itself. None of the balls they looked at seemed to be discolored or damaged. That seems pretty clear. So again, what was the issue? What was really the issue? The fact that the umpire's hands were a bit sticky after touching st stuff sticky themselves? And these are supposed quote-unquote experts on judging whether or not something is Rosen? I mean, I have no reason to not believe Max Scherzer in this instance, someone who's been a pitcher for near basically a decade and been great to all of a sudden cheat just now in that one very specific game for some odd reason. It just seems a bit out of place, but at the same time, it's just the whole situation just seems odd. Not enough evidence to call it biased for the Yankees and against other teams like the Mets. But it's not enough for me to sit there and just call it like, like it's clearly deserved because it really doesn't seem the 10 day suspension, the 10 game suspension does not seem deserved at all and seems like a way to sabotage Max Serzer there. And it's, it's just... I, I can see this, uh, this, and they immediately, when a PR move, went out to explain their 10-day suspension publicly, which means they know it's a bad PR move for what they're doing here. It's, they, they know. It's, they, they, they thought this through. They, they know what this is going to look like for them and they still went through with it it just it seems like a sabotage for the Mets but it's not a clear case so it's I know this is a very muddied video with not me not leaning one way or the other 
I'm just putting this out there just to say that it does. One, for Yankees fans, it's really not clear defense for your team for what's happening right now. But also for the rest of the league, that's I think to Yankees, this ain't the clearest super bias for the Yankees either, or biased against the Mets. It's not a clear cut case, and until we get more info, which I believe we're going to get more info because I don't see Max Scherzer taking the sitting down. I believe he's going to stand up. I believe we're going to hear from his side again, and I believe we're going to uh, probably get some sort of leak, some sort of battle, because I know that if he seems if he was unjustifiably suspended that under the CBA that he does have the right to sue and that could very well happen and we'll see where this goes from here I will we're probably gonna see more of it definitely not a good PR move and the MLB knows that that's why they sent that explanation like right away when it happened that to explain why they did it and as much detail and the explanation just seems weak it's inconsistent with what they typically see as Rosen that's their explanation with the sticking level so it just it just seems inconsistent seems the reasoning is just very weak and it's we'll see where what happens from here this is the end of the video not very conclusive but that's because there's more that's going to happen and more that's going to show up and we're going to hear about this more and it's just waiting and seeing which Sometimes there's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes it's not the it's okay to not jump on the largest bandwagon and just to see where things go and then wait for new information and come con to conclusions afterwards. We'll see. Cause I'm very interested in what's going on here because this just seems odd. And I'll see y'all next time.